Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight, Jorge? I'm fine, thank you. Very well. That's awesome. This is a good day. It's been a good day? I'm, I'm yes. Glad. I'm glad to hear that. Did it rain? Uh, how about you? Repeat. How about you? How about you? Perfect. How about you? Um, It's been a difficult day for me because um, this pimple on my nose, it was extending, you know, through my lip and it hurt a lot. So it was very annoying. It was very annoying having that pimple on my nose. So uh, my wife, I had my wife burst it, burst it. So she she made me cry. Actually, she made me cry <laughs> because she grabbed oh. she grabbed my nose and she was like, <laughs> and it's inside, you know, on this part of the nose. Oh, this has never happened to me before. I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> no, don't feel sorry. Don't worry. How do you say, ya me ha pasado? How do you say, ya me ha pasado? Um, let me see. I know that. Um, yes, that could be an option. Add, add something else. I know that. Um, I know what you're talking about. That sounds more appropriate. I know. I know that. Uh, I know what it feels. I know what it feels like. Now, more American, more native, I would say Binder. Just like that. Uh huh. Like Binder. Been there. Okay. Teacher, sorry about yesterday. I I couldn't uh, connect you because I have a very problem uh, about the internet. Internet. You had many problems about the internet. Okay. Yes. It's okay, but I I think you completed almost the two hours, so you're fine. Let me check, let me check. Miguel Santos Marroquín. Du, 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 du. I think you did, actually, yeah. yeah so we're fine, don't worry. You're Alex. Hey, Alex. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Casa, teacher. In English. <laughs> I hope today I have a problem. Okay, not a problem, Miguel. Don't worry. Hopefully, it doesn't rain. Alex, you say, I'm on my way home. I'm on my way home. Okay. I'm on my way home. There you go. I'm on my way home. Good. Let me do the attendance so we can get this rolling. Um, Alex is on the way. So, Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar is here. Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. Present. Excellent. Ana Victoria Galán Cantón. Present. Thank you. Brandon Alexis Velázquez Ayala. Present, teacher. Thank you. Brandon, we are staying 10 minutes tonight. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. At the end. Thank you. Denise Alejandra Zúñiga Aldana. Present. Excellent. Fredis Ricardo Landaverde. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Jorge Alberto Laines Diaz. There. No, Jorge is not here. Right? Oh, there he is. Okay, thank you. Jorge Ernesto Hernandez Durán. Present, teacher. Excellent. Luis Eduardo Reyes. Luis Eduardo Reyes, no. Okay. Maria Jose Escobar Portillo. Present. Thank you. Maritza Celina Aguilar Ramos. 
present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Santos Marroquín Maravilla. I'm here, teacher. Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. Present. Excellent. Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. Present, teacher. Excellent. Oscar Eduardo Meléndez Martínez. Present. Show me your face, please. Roberto, Roberto Ernesto Colindres Morales. Thank you, Oscar. Present. Excellent. Teacher, there is an error with my last name. Really? Let me correct that right now. Roberto Ernesto Colindres Morales. Morales Colindres. Oh, it's the other way around. It's the other way around. Okay. Thanks. Or it's background. I'm sorry, it's backwards, teacher. It's backwards. My last names are written backwards. That's the best way. Okay, Roxana Geraldina, Juan Dick Ortiz. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay. Oh my God, we have full house. We're only missing Luis. Excelente, chico. Gracias por estar a tiempo. Porque hoy sí vamos a completar los 120 minutos. Todos, solamente Luis nos hace falta. So, estamos súper bien. Thank you. Let's get this started. So, we have another activity on, on the chat. By the way, y lo voy a decir en español súper rápido, a partir de mañana eh, vamos a hacer una dinámica. Cuando yo diga su nombre, al pasar asistencia, no solo van a decir present, porque sé que decir present según los lineamientos que nos ha dado Insaforp, pero van a decir una palabra que empiece con su nombre. For example, María. Work in English, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> With um, um, monkey. <laughs> okay. So María will say, Majo will say, uh, present monkey. <laughs> I'm going to go like, monkey? Why, why? Oh, okay. Jorge will say, Jorge Alberto. Play. What? No, no, no. Uh, present. Present. Uh, <laughs> Come on. Let's see you, Jorge present. Ernesto. Help him. Can you help Jorge Ernesto? Joyful. Okay, so present joyful. You see? Jump. Jump. Joker. Oh, okay, let's leave it there. <laughs> so tomorrow, that's what we're going to do, okay? Or tonight, tonight at the end of the class when we do the attendance, okay? So we can get more vocabulary. Okay, um, today is Thursday. I want to start checking something really quick. Don't forget that you have to do the platform. Oh, juice. <laughs> I knew it. That's another one. Juice. Okay, let's see. Don't forget that you have to do the platform every, every day. Okay? By tonight or tomorrow, you should finish at least section one of the exercises, okay? As we already started this, what is this? Complete the following sentences using the correct use of comparative adjectives. Use the adjectives in brackets. So, for example, who can give me number one? Come on, mira. Big, uh, bigger than. Bigger <laughs> than. Then. Okay, let's see if this is right. Yes, that's right. Uh, super rápido. La plataforma está diseñada de tal manera que solo se, um, se da una opción de respuesta, a veces dos. Okay? So, um, si no les sale, digamos que ustedes hubieran puesto my house is bigger than yours, period. O sea, toda la oración, incluyendo el punto, les hubiera marcado mala. Right? What's the next one? So what is the next answer? More beautiful. More, what else? Down the yellow one. Excellent. So the answer on number two should be more beautiful than. Teacher. And it's wrong. Huh. Why? Huh. Why? 
Uh, I think Dan is is oh, no lo permite. It's not allowed. Word. Really? I don't know why. Yes, I don't know why, but. Huh. You see, there is a glitch, and yes, that's the answer. More beautiful than the yellow one. Okay, let's see, the next one. More interesting. Is that it? Then, right? More interesting than the move, but let's see. Let's no, see. without it's, then. It, it doesn't take it, it's... okay. I got you. Please don't forget that you need to say then. I, I will report this so we can uh, correct it here in English Corporativo. This was easy. You just needed to select uh, from multiple options. Number three is just defining words. And this is what we are about to do tonight. We will go on your workbooks to page 13, 13. And here you have a vocabulary activity. Continuing with the restaurant uh, topic, you have thigh, chicken, and rice. Thigh, cada vez que tienes una TH, es una Z, okay? A veces no vas a soplar, como el artículo the. Y a veces sí, vas a soplar como Thor, Thunder, right? Thunder. Y en este caso, thigh, thigh, okay? Thigh chicken and rice. French onion soup. Be careful, it's not soup, soup. Burger, burger, burger. Cheese and tomato sandwich okay cheese and tomato sandwich don't say tomato or tomato please tomato <laughs> lemon cake how do you read this word read it huh we talked about edn since yesterday uh-huh green grilled Perfect. Somebody said grilled. Yes, grilled. Grilled fish. Listen, grilled fish. And how do you read this? Potatoes. Potatoes. Good. Green salad. English tea. Pink lemonade. Fruit salad. And cream. Okay, so what's your job? You need to classify. For example, thigh, chicken, and rice. Where does it go? Is it a starter? Is it a snack? Is it a main course? Is it a dessert? Mind this, I didn't say dessert, be careful. Dessert. Or is it a drink? Thigh, chicken and rice. What is it? Uh, Miguel, what? What is it, guys? Is it the main course? Main course. Good. Excellent, Alberto. Good job. It is a main course. Look at the examples. A starter could be a potato soup. Okay. Snacks could be chicken sandwich. That's a snack. Main courses, German sausage, sausage, and chips. German sausage. What are sausages? Do you like sausages? Yes, with eggs. With eggs. Yes, good job. Okay, German sausages and chips. What about ice cream? Do you like ice cream? <sighs> right, Manita? Nah. No ice cream, right? <laughs> okay. And last one, ice, Irish, I'm sorry, Irish cream coffee. Irish cream coffee. Irish cream coffee. So your job is classify these options 
And then add one of your favorite items to the categories above. In pairs or groups, in this case, ask about the items in your classmates list. So you have to ask your classmates, okay, uh, what, what, what else do you have as a starter? Listen, I'm gonna write it on the chat instead, wait. The question will be, what else is there on your list? What else is there on your list? What else is there on your list? What's the meaning of that question? Okay. ¿Qué ¿Qué más hay en tu list? Excellent. ¿Qué más hay en tu list? That's simple. Okay. Then, once we have concluded these sections and this chip chat, we're going to work in groups and organize a menu for fast food restaurant in your city. Okay. The menu needs to have five categories. What are appetizers? What's an appetizer? The same starters. Good job, Maho, yes. It's a synonym of starter, basically. It's just the opening dish. Okay. Snacks, main course, desserts, and drinks. Ideally, each category should have or show feature, show feature, oh, feature. I said, oh, I'm sorry. Mind this. Show, show feature three or four items. So in, the, in your restaurant list, you will have three or four items on each of the categories. Questions? Questions, suggestions? No? No? Okay. If, if you don't have any questions, let's admire Freddy's forehead. Look at Freddy's forehead. That's beautiful. It's a plain. Oh, come on, man. Let us let us see your forehead. <laughs> you know, I had a I had a student, a very old, a very old lady in another group. Every yeah. every class, she used to be just like this. Is um uh, the vision the computer? It. I know. I know. If you put it too straight, you don't see well, right? Mm -hmm. You have to play with it. Entiendo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I'm just joking. Let's go. So we're going to be in four groups. Por favor, participen con sus compañeros. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? He dicho por tercera vez. No questions? Yeah? No? Okay. Let's go. Let's work on this together. Let's do it. Stars. Started. I have the French onion soup. Yes. Also, I have the green salad. Another one that you have. French. No, I think it's only that. And the fruit salad Rats. and cream? 
No. It sounds like a dessert. Dessert. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, yes, you have a reason. <laughs> okay, with the snacks, we have um, cheese and tomato sandwich. Yes. And... I only have that one. And for um, main courses, of course, um, a burger, or oh, it could be a snack. Yes, I don't know. A no, burger. it's. I think, um, uh, maybe it's a uh, a snack bar. Mm. Yes, you. It's burger, snacks. Another one that I have it is grilled fish and potatoes. And my course. Uh, say chicken and rice. Right. Yes. And the other ones. Fish and potatoes. Grilled fish and potatoes. Yes. The desserts. Desserts. I have lemon cake. Yes. And fruit salad and cream. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, for drinks, I have English tea and pink, pink lemonade. Yes. Main course 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 course. There you go, main course course. Course and main course. Who have an idea? Who has an idea? Who has who has an idea? Oscar, Jorge, Fredis, come on. What? Uh, teacher, we have to use the five categories. Please, uh, that's the first uh, exercise. You need to classify all the items on each category. Um, okay, but I understood. This is the correct way. This is yeah. the first of the first uh, the screenshot. Exactly. The first uh, the screenshot. Main... Wait, okay, so main yeah, main courses. Okay. Main so course. is Thai chicken and rice a main course? Is French onion soup a main course? Mm. Are, is, is a burger a main course? And so on. Uh, maybe. Uh, grilled fish and potatoes. Potatoes. Friends. Okay. Here, uh, 
we have to write five examples. No, we have to order the the list. Oh, the, the list. See, of okay, the okay, I, I, I understand. Thai chicken is a main course. Yep. Thai chicken and, and sure, can you explain what's the the Thai chicken? I maybe heard this. maybe a, a snack, maybe banana slice. Oh, ben, banana slice. Banana slices or what? slices. A snacks. Maybe. Yeah. That could be a snack. Thai chicken is a specialty of Thai chi food, I guess. Yes. <laughs> Chinese food, yeah. Chinese food. Oh, okay. Orange. Orange chicken. Orange chicken, right? That's like orange chicken. True. Orange chicken. And started uh, wonton. Wonton. Wonton is a snack. Wonton. Snack. Wait, but first you have it's... to do the first chart. Let me see. Are there wontons? No. No, you have no. Thai chicken and rice. You have French onion soup, burger, cheese and tomato sandwich, lemon cake. And the French onion soup? Uh, it could be a starter. A starters, starters. Star, star. Green salad is uh, starters too. Um, creo yo que. Hola. Pensar como. Sorry. <laughs> no Spanish. Okay. Sorry, teacher. Sí, estamos traduciendo, teacher. Entre nosotros. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Yes, mi amor. Okay, did you mm -hmm. classify the first section, section four? Yes, I finished. We, we are done. Repeat, we're done. We're, we're done. done. Good job. Okay, keep going. Okay. 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 The second part, uh, we said uh, in the restaurant, I will have a first category. Start this. Okay. <clears throat> Hola. Well, uh, de que como de qué sería el restaurante. Voy a rápida. Ahí. Fast food. Yes. But Okay, uh, started for example with with salad. Okay. With a salad and another is uh, onion rings, green salad, or onion cake. Rings out of the subway. Uh, onion. Oh, yeah. So, uh, as second category. But for category three items. O sea, sí. quiere decir tre tres opciones por categoría. O sea, tres platos por entrada. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, the first, green salad. Second, on rings. And third, no sé. Mm. El intro que, ¿cómo se dice? No, pan, pan con ajo. Ah, no, ya. 
No, sí, pangungan. Sí, sí, okay. sí. Bread. Garlic no. bread. Garlic. Garlic Gar bread, yeah, garlic bread. Yes. Okay. Finish the first degree. Done. <laughs> no. Snacks. The snacks. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> Ham mm. sandwich? Yeah, who we sandwich? Yeah, ham sandwich. 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 Mm. What else? No sería. How do you say? Eh, churritos. Okay. Snacks. O sea, pero... no. It's just that when, when. Sorry, go ahead. Hola, hola. No se te escuchó. Hola, you can you can say fries, um, still Cheetos, Cheetos, flaming Cheetos, flaming hot Cheetos. I don't know. Peanuts. Flaming hot Cheetos. Ah, mm -hmm. los Cheetos. Está bien, está bien. Ok, eso. Eh, who, who be li, Limón. ¿O ¿Cómo es? Limón. Lemon. Lemon. Cheetos. Ok. What is Okay. We finish the snacks. Sandwich. And Fries. Fries and Cheeto. Cheeto, okay. Okay, main quarters. Third. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's the more that that's the most important thing in pasta tacos. <laughs> I don't know pineapple. <laughs> when when I when I know, it like a what? How can have pineapple? How? <laughs> but it, it's very delicious <laughs> yes it's really delicious <laughs> fine and um, your favorite dessert and, and my my favorite dessert is cheesecake dessert any, any kind of Oh, oh, my favorite dessert is cheesecake. Strawberry cheesecake, um, raspberry cheesecake, chocolate cheesecake, okay. <laughs> any type of cheesecake. <laughs> yes. And my favorite drink uh, is soda <laughs> or raspberry tea. Okay. 
or Flesh. beer. Uh -huh. <laughs> tacos is, is the, the first Tacos mark. with a beer. <laughs> I agree. With a Corona beer. Huh? Please. No, maybe um, Regia beer is delicious too. It's delicious, yes, and it's really. <laughs> how do you say? But I don't remember. Cheap. <laughs> it's really cheap, but it's really good. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> <laughs> and how about you, Raquel? Raquel, are you here? Are you ready? I think she's not here. <laughs> I think <not. laughs> So that was... So, Morelia, uh... what do you think about pizza with pineapple? <laughs> Is delicious. My how, I, sister, how, how I am. Yes, yeah, is. I'm sorry. How I am. How, how, oh. how do you say pizza Hawaiiana? Hawaiian pizza. Hawaiian pizza? Okay. Um, I like it, but my sister didn't, the, the, doesn't like it. <laughs> So yeah. she don't she doesn't buy me pizza with pineapple because <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't like it. <laughs> <But>, ah. <laughs> yes. Teacher, hey. how do you say salchipapa? Salchipapa? <laughs> yes. Sausage potatoes. Something like that. Sausage potatoes. You could make a what? Um a compound word. You can create your own words. Acuérdense que todo lo que califica el nombre va antes. Entonces, salchipapa. Yeah. I will say that that way. Saus What sounds better in this case? Um uh, let me see. Sausage oh. chips, sausage fries, fries, mm -hmm. sausage, sausage and fries. I don't know, but you, you can make sausage, it up. Mm -hmm. Sausage chips sounds good, but it's... chip is um, como los churros de papa frita, no? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Those are fried potatoes, fried fries. Uh -huh. But not is that but not, that's not, not is salchipapa. But it isn't, repeat, but it isn't salchipapa. But it isn't salchipapa because salchipapa True. is uh fries potatoes with sausage. 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 But I don't know. Remember that you have to do the five categories, okay? Keep going, yes. keep going. Yes, we we have it. Yeah, we finished. What? Yes. Did you? Yes. So you have your own menu with the five categories. Ah, but in the in the pictures didn't say that. Oh come on. Oh, it's the second one. Sorry. Yep. Okay, we're going to to do it right now. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. Denise. We have to do our menu. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there are so, three or four. We of of each. Uh, I have. 
I have two already. For example, I have two starters, two snacks, two main courses, two desserts, and two drinks. I don't know. I, uh, three drinks. <laughs> three so or we four. can mix yours and, and mine. Ah, okay, okay. So, um, for the starters, which um, we can can write our favorites and other ones, right? Exactly. For example, my favorites are garlic bread, and your favorite okay. is are. Uh, I have chicken soup and nachos with cheese. Nachos with mm -hmm. cheese. And maybe... And we have to add two more. How do you say... Um, sopa de tortilla? Tor tortilla soup, I think. Tortilla, tortilla soup. soup. Hi, Miguel. Can you hear me? Uh, sí. Estaba solo de primero, pero no sé qué pasó. Estábamos hablando ahí de que nos habían dejado, quizás, porque no. Y Eduardo está conectado. Está, yo estaba con Ana Victoria y Roxana y de repente estaba el Genog y no sé, quizás hubo alguna confusión, no sé ahí. Ok. Let me move you again, ok? Ok. Just a minute. Thank you. Ok. On onion is onion bread. French onion soup. Wow, French, French onion sandwich, nachos, chips. With oh wait, that's not part of the menu. A ver, si se fijan les puse dos imágenes en el WhatsApp. La primera era la primera actividad. Solo tenían que clasificar los ítems que aparecen arriba en el recuadro punteado y luego eh, clasificar cada uno de ellos si son starters, snacks, main courses, de desserts o drinks. Solo eso tenían que ser en la primera actividad. ¿Podrían agregar uno más, un ítem favorito suyo a cada una de las categorías? Creo que son hecho de hecho, ¿verdad? Yeah. Ok. Yes. Ok, good. Está bien. Ahora, la segunda actividad es hacer su propio menú para un restaurante de fast food, de, de comida rápida. Ok, tiene que tener cinco categorías, les decía, y están descritas las categorías. Y, idealmente, con tener tres o cuatro ítems en cada categoría. Eso sí ya es inventárselo ustedes mismos. Ok. Teacher, we have a question only to have clear the situation. The difference between milkshake is because the, the the beverage or drink have milk. If it's refresher, it's like a fresco. Refreshments. Refresher. Uh, you can say beverages. Beverage. Mm. Batido. Uh -uh. Bebida. Mm. Beverages. Beverages. Beverage. Batido is shake. Shake. If it's milkshake. Uh-huh. And beverage is a general concept. Exactly. It's in general. What beverages do you have? Mm. Beverage. Beverage. Okay. The is the
Ya nos llama el teacher, creo. No. No. Solo entró al, al, al grupo. Tienen 10 minutos para terminar la segunda actividad. En otra... ¿Eh? Ok, ya clasificaron en la primera parte. Ya hicieron su menú. Tiene cinco categorías y cada categoría tiene de tres a cuatro elementos. Yes. Ok. Ok. I read it. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Lo van a presentar en la clase. So, practice and determine who is going to do the presentation. Ok. Ok. I'll be here if you need me. Ok. Ok, eh, Marita. Eh, I start. Ok, solo para <laughs> quedar claros. Ok, en Started, eh, Green Salad, Onion Rings, en Garlic Bread. Yes. Yo pensé que era Bread with Garlic. Garlic, garlic, garlic bread. Garlic bread. Déjame. Ver. Okay. Sí, garlic bread. Okay. So the second category is snack. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sandwich. Yes. And also fries and Cheetos. Cheetos, yes. And main courses with meat with rice. Uh -huh. uh, podemos cambiarle el, with rice, for example, root meat with vegetable. Eh, como el Xiaomi ya traía with vegetables. Sí, ah, sí, pues déjame así, ok. With, with rice and, and pork with, with red wine. And mm. Xiaomi with vegetables. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yep. Xiaomi is the same in English or change? Xiaomi, mm hmm That's not a that's not an English or Spanish word. It's a Chinese word. That's a Chinese word. Uh -huh. Doesn't change. Okay. Um, and desserts, fit great. Chocolate cake and fruit salad. Okay. And category drinks. Uh, it's strawberry lemon. Frozen fruits and smoothie fruits. Okay. Beer. Ah, beer. Tequila. Why are you with beers? And tequila. Beers. Teacher, it is called frozen fruit or fruit frozen? Frozen grape? Frozen the fruit, as it comes frozen uh, fruit. Uh. Oh, fruit. frozen fruit, fruit. Thank you, frozen fruit. Frozen fruit, okay. Siempre pregunta de qué califica. ¿Cuál es el nombre entre fruta y congelado? Congelado es el adjetivo, ¿verdad? Entonces yeah, va sí. primero. Ok, thanks. Yes, you're welcome. Sí. Eh, Brandon, tenemos una prueba. Eh, o sea, decirlo así todo completo, como si estuvieras en una clase. Dijiste banda, en serio. Oh, Brandon. <laughs> ok, I was like, she said banda. Oh my God. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> okay, keep going, keep going. Okay. 
Lady starts. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. In the restaurant, the fast food, and uh, we will have as uh, the first category the starters with green salad, also and um, garlic bread and onion rings. Okay. Uh, the second category will be snacks. 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 For example, could be sandwich, also fries and skittles. And the three category is main courses. Will be roast meat with rice, also chow mein with vegetable, and finally pork ribs with with red wine. And the category dessert are sweet, sweet crepe, also fruit salad and chocolate cake. And finally, the category drinks is strawberry lemon, frozen fruits, and smoothie, smoothie, smoothies fruits. Beer and tequila. Okay. Your turn. Okay. Uh, in my case, for example, in our. Ya se nos terminó el tiempo. No. Dice ahí hace falta. Desert. Okay. We Pero cannot ver, compare. Sería... Maybe a, um, uh, I maybe I don't know. <laughs> Donna, <laughs> Donna. <laughs> oh, donut. Okay. <laughs> yes, donut. Oh, donut. I. También podría ser budín. No sé cómo se dice. Budín. I don't know if it's if it's budín. Yes, you have. I'm not, I'm not sure. It is budín. <laughs> okay, okay. Yep. And drinks, we have these drinks. This... Uh, so I don't know yeah. if you want to add something else. Fresco de Jamaica sería. I don't know how to write Jamaica. <laughs> the same way, Jamaica. Jamaica. <laughs> Jamaica. Jamaica. Juice? Yeah. Fresh John sería fresh, fresh from Jamaica. Fresh juice. And frozen strawberry. I think this is strawberry for strawberry frozen. Maybe milkshake. Yes, yes, yes milkshake. Todavía estamos en sala aquí. Hola. Hey. Sí, es el principal. Okay, let's see who, which group will go first. Who is the last one coming back? 
I have every, everyone on group number two, which is Freddy, is Jorge, Maria, Oscar, and Roberto, but let's see. I missed that. Oh my God. Well, it, yeah, it was number four. Okay, group number four. Let's wait. Oh my God. They keep coming. Hold on. Okay, group number four, Denise, Miguel, Marroquín, Morelia, Perdomo, Nancy, Raquel, and Roxana. Wow, two, four, six. So, <clears throat> eh, perdón, la disculpa, creo que Zoom estaba fallando por, porque básicamente Roxana y, um, who else was there? Yo. Ajá, okay. y Ana Victoria se desconectaron de repente y se quedaron solas ahí y pensaron que ellas, que los otros compañeros se habían desconectado y los otros compañeros pensaban que, ah, se lo relajó, entonces tuve que desintegrar un grupo. So, but we we made grupo. it. That was Victoria. your group, right? Ese era mi grupo, Ana Roxana, Ana Victoria con Roxana, Juan uh -huh. y no me acuerdo la otra compañera. Y yeah. mí, María José. Ah, María José, perdón. <laughs> Okay, so let's see your presentations, if possible. Si hicieron algo en presentación, chivo, si no, tranquilo, solo expónganlo. Pero recuerden, eh, hay que seguir los lineamientos. Tiene que tener cinco ca categorías y cada categoría debe de tener al menos tres o cuatro ítems. So, espero que se hayan dividido el trabajo, tal vez en una o dos categorías cada uno, o uno solo que presente. As you please, and we're going to go with... Group number four, Denise, Miguel, Morelia, Nancy, Raquel, and Roxana. One, two, three, action. Okay. I'm going to present my screen because I think I I have, I am the only one that I have. Sure, Denise. The menu. Uh, okay. You say I'm going to share my screen. Yes, I'm going to share my screen. My screen. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Go ahead. Okay, so this is our menu. For starters dish, we have barbecue wings, seafood soup, garlic bread, chicken soup, nachos with cheese, and tortilla soup. And for snacks, we have a burger, nut, fruit cocktails, salchipapa, <laughs> salchipapa cookies, and apples. Hmm. And for main courses, we have pizza, we have beef with vegetables and smashed potatoes. Um, we had spaghetti with cream, fried cheese, fried fish with rice and salad, and tacos. For desserts, we have chocolate cake, three milks shake, cake. I'm, I'm sorry, three milks cake, lemon pie, cheesecake, pudding, donuts, and brownies. And for drinks, we have Jamaica fresh juice, strawberry frozen, milkshake, lemonade, lemonade with peppermint, beers, orange juice and soda, and raspberry tea. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Where's the pink lemonade? Okay. But did you classify the items above the chart first? Oh, yes, but I erase it. <laughs> okay. No, I just wanted to, to make sorry. sure. I just wanted to make sure that you did it. Don't worry. Great job. Okay. Now, wait, wait. Don't stop sharing, Denise. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. It's okay. Okay. Can you select someone out of your group? Denise? Okay, uh, but I don't remember. I can see it. Uh, Freddy's. I'm sorry. It's okay. Freddy's Santa Verde. No problem, Denise. Uh, the teacher, Robert, <laughs> present. Uh... Thank you. Freddy's, do me a favor. Can you play? Yes. If you were in this restaurant, and this is your menu, what would you order? from each section? Um, Mexican food. 
Yeah. Let me see. Uh, is there Mexican food here? His tacos. Oh, tacos. Okay. But that's the main course. What would you like for a starter? What will be your appetizer? The restaurant. Um, chicken soup and tortilla soup. Okay. So Freddy's will order chicken soup. Okay. Chicken soup and tortilla soup. Both? Okay, tortilla soup. <laughs> Both, two soups. Okay. What would you order for a snack? The snack is... Uh, Think I about it. Think about it. it. What goes well? Listen, guys. What goes well with chicken soup and tortilla soup? What goes well? Okay, go ahead, Freddy. <laughs> Uh, burger and apples and apples what apples. <laughs> that's so weird oh my god so first I eat a chicken soup and tortilla soup and then I eat an apple <laughs> and a hamburger okay what will be your main course main course it's uh Tacos. <laughs> tacos, okay. Tacos will be your main course. What would you like for dessert? I like um, cheesecake. A cheesecake, okay. And, brown and brownie. And brownie. You're really hungry. Oh, my God. What are, what are you drinking? The drinking is beer. I will drink or I'm going to, to have... I'll have I, a beer. Repeat, I'll beer. have a beer. I have a beer. I'll have a beer. I have a beer. Good job. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> Can you select a woman, Freddy's? Select a woman is Ana Victoria Galan. Okay. Repeat. Let me let me choose Ana Victoria Galan. Let me choose. Ana Victoria Galán. Or you can say, Ana Victoria, I choose you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready, Ana Victoria. Tell me, what would you like to have? And in which category? All of them. You are at the restaurant and um, you are, of course, in order, right? What's first? Um... Garlic bread. Garlic bread. For the starters. Okay. And for the snacks, I would like um, maybe nuts. Nuts. Okay, nuts. Uh, nuts. What will be and your main course, madam? I could like um, Beef with vegetable and smashed potatoes. Thank you. Denise, smashed potatoes. Smashed potatoes. Okay. Saben, saben que eso lo he visto en smashed potatoes. No está la ED al final. Okay. Thank you. Smashed potatoes. And what would you like for dessert, madam? Uh, for dessert, I would like... Um... Lemon pie. Lemon pie, good choice. So, what should I bring you first for drinks? Uh, for drinks, I like um, uh, lemonade with peppermint. With pepper, peppermint. peppermint. Okay, good choice. Okay, so garlic bread for starter with some nuts. Okay, while well, I wait, they bring the lemonade with peppermint, and then they bring the main course, which is beef with vegetables and smashed potatoes. Okay, and dessert. 
this. Um, a lemon pie. Okay. I like this menu better. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that we, okay. I mean, you know, men, men, we don't, we don't think too much. You know, like, oh my god, this looks delicious. This looks delicious. I have all of this. Thank you, Denise. Um, so that that's the way we order in reality, right? When we are hungry, right, Freddy? Yeah. Hungry. <laughs> okay. Who is next, Denise? Not from your group. Um. Uh, Oscar Eduardo. Oscar Eduardo. So Freddy's, Jorge, Majo. Oscar and Roberto Morales. <laughs> one, just one. Okay. Teacher, please. Mm -hmm. Roberto, can you can you share your screen, please? Oh, okay. Robert. There you go. Wow. Okay. Very good, bro. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think you can do a presentation with this, right? Can you present it? No? No, no, right? It's just a flyer. It's a flyer. Okay, whenever you're ready. This restaurant is very expensive. Not really. Mexican food. Okay, whenever you're ready, guys. How do you say vale la pena? It's worth it. <laughs> it worth it. Sorry, um, who's presenting, Robert? Who is going to talk? Go on, Freddy. What? <laughs> <laughs> Go Robert. ahead, guys. Time's up. Está escribiendo, Robert. I'm sorry. I have my microphone. Off. Okay, Freddy's, can you explain our menu? Menu. Okay, the menu, the restaurant Mexican food is um, start on your rain. Rings? Rain. Um, teacher, please. Zoom the picture. Okay. Uh, thank okay. you. Uh, Roberto, can you zoom in? Or Roberto, can you do a close-up? <laughs> okay. Good. Go ahead. Start. Okay. Start uh, on your right. The uh, chips with guacamole, fried potato, potato and tortilla soup. 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 Tortilla. Is tortilla or tortilla? Tortilla, and you say yeah. tortilla. You say tortilla. Tortilla. Mm -hmm. tortilla. Tortilla soup. 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 Um, uh, please continue. Okay. Excuse me. Partner. Excuse me. Is this in pesos or dollars? Uh, the price. Pes pesos. It's random. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Oh my God! Yeah. Yeah. Snacks? Can I continue? Yes, Can please. I... For okay. snacks, we have for snack for snacks we have salad, chicken, and sandwich. And in main main course, courses. we have tacos courses. Main courses we have tacos, burritos, gringas. Gringas. Gringas? You still gringas? 
Yes. And they're it's very cheap. Guys. Another, <laughs> another company. Another classmate. Another classmate. Another classmate. And to the desserts, we have tiramisu and cheesecake. Okay. And George. Tiramisu and cheesecake. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the drinks that we offer are beers, gold, water, and lemonade. Okay. Beers, Coke, water. By the way, guys, you say water. 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 Water and water. lemonade. Lemonade. Air. Is lemonade or lemon lemonade 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 mm -hmm. are invited uh in our relation <laughs> i'll invite you to the opening opening okay good job okay thanks someone don't don't stop sharing roberto don't stop sharing uh someone else from another group Giselle, can you make up your order please Hello. Hi, can you make up your order, please? Welcome, oh, welcome to Mexican restaurant. Thank you very much. For a starter, I'm going to want fried potatoes, please. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Uh, fried potatoes. Oh, fried potatoes. Fried so potatoes. for starter, I wanna have. I wanna I have. Wanna I'm have. going to have. Uh huh. Um, fried potatoes. Okay, got it. Yeah. Do you do you want any so, snack? We have salad, chicken, or chicken sandwich. I want chicken sandwich, please. Okay. By the way, the starter is free. There is no price for the starter. It's free. It's on the house. It's on the house. <laughs> Just it's for it, the opening. It's for the opening, and it's because of the price of the snacks. Okay, these are dollars. So you said sa chicken salad or or chicken sandwich. The price is a surprise in the bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, so what what is it gonna be? Salad? Um, eh, no, chicken sandwich, please. You have money. Oh, my God. Good job. Thank you. Um, <laughs> sorry. And can you go up, Roberto, please? Uh, what would you like to have for the main course? Uh, I would like to have burritos. Burritos. How many? Yeah. Just one, please. Just one. Okay. 40. Yeah. Okay. Good. And... What shall I serve you for dessert? Uh, I have tiramisu. A tiramisu. Okay. And yeah. what shall I bring you for drinking? You know, while we while you wait the order, while you wait for the order. I can see the drinks. Yes, I'm so sorry. Oh. Me, just just one second. I'm sorry. Can you please, Roberto, move down the screen so we can see the screen, okay. the drinks. The beverages. <clears throat> oh my God. Please don't give us a bad review. Uh, we have beer, we have tequila, we have lemonade as well. What would you like to drink? I would like to drink first a lemonade and then a beer and to finish a tequila. Whoa. To finish, a tequila <laughs> shot. Okay, yeah, excellent. Just one shot. Okay, we have a surprise for you. We have a a mariachi with the with the tequila shot. Okay, that's gonna be. Thank at you the very end. much. At the end, <laughs> sure, no problemo. Thank you. I'll be right back. Okay, this is real life in reality. You know that's the way you order, right? 
as long as you understand, that's okay. Should we do one more? Should we do one more? What do you think? No? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes? Okay. Who's who's missing? Let me see. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, Roberto. Let's see. That was Roberto. Then oh, we're missing Alex, Brandon, Eduardo, Jorge Alberto, and Maritza. So Maritza. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> I don't know. Your group, your group. Okay, okay. And in which restaurant, the fast food, we will ha have as the first category, the starters with green salad, also a garlic bread and onion rings. Then as second category will be the snack for example could be sandwich with jam also fries and chills and the three category is main courses and my partner Brandon will continue with the next category Brandon are you here yes <laughs> For dessert, really? Uh, for dessert category, uh, sweet crepe, chocolate cake, and fruit salad, and drinks, uh, strawberry lemonade, frozen fruit, smoothie fruit, and beers. That's it. That's it. Okay. Uh, first, uh, Maritza, in we restaurant, it will be in our restaurant, in our restaurant, in our restaurant. Okay. Hey, everybody, what's the difference between jam and ham? Jam is ham. is the meat and ham is the, this part? No. Uh, I think it's the opposite, the other way around. Ah, oh, okay. I the think backwards. it's it's backwards. I think it's backwards. Okay. Ham with an H, ham with an H, is jamón, right? It's the meat. Teacher, but why do they call them ham burger? Americans, burger. Americans say burgers. Can I get a burger, please? Can I get a meat burger, please? Can I get a fish burger? Can I get a chicken burger? You see? In case you didn't know. Now, jam, jam with a J. Listen, jam, jam, jump, jam, jungle, mm, justice, justice. The J sounds like J, like a Y in, her, in the Spanish, right? Got it? Now, the J... Hold on. Okay, the J. How do I take this off? I cannot take it off. Okay. Oh, so bad. Anyways, I wanted to uh, stop the filter to show you something. But anyways, my favorite band from all times is called Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. <laughs> okay, so Jam. Um, Halea. Okay. Jam. jam. Gran is jam. And one more thing. Wait, who's sharing? Uh, Brandon. Okay, give me a minute. Give me just a minute. Okay. Uh, so um, oh, you were sharing the the menu you made. Okay. Beers. Let's do an exercise. Everybody, turn on your microphone, please. Okay. Just a second, please. Uh, 
Okay, pay attention, turn on your microphone and try to Deal. read, try to read these four words. Everybody try to read these four words one by one. First. First. Aloud. There's. Bears. Oh, it's plural. I'm Bear. sorry, guys. Yeah, try to do it in singular, please. Uh huh. Bear. Bear. Good job. Bear. Second one. Bear. 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 This Bear. one. Bear. Bear. Maritza, Bear. what? Denise, Denise, what? Beard. Beard. Good, Ana Victoria. Yes, Denise. Beard. Beard. Okay. Third, third word. Beer. 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 Oh. Beer. 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 And, and the fourth one, the last one, your favorite. Beer. <laughs> Beer. Beer. Yes. Beer. 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 No me quería acercar a la cámara porque si se fijan, si sonrío. Parezco el yo, pero ahorita con cada recto el año. <laughs> it hurts. Okay. So listen. Bear. 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 La lengua se enrolla hacia atrás con la R y digo bear. Bear. No hay un sonido final, Fred. Bear. 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 ¿Sabes qué? Es como ver. Es como ver, pero con la lengua enrollada. Pero más como ves Burr. con la lengua enrollada. Como, como hablando con la garganta, con la nariz, como decimos. Bear. Yes, bear, bear. The bear. second one. Beard. 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 Yeah. Who has a beard? Jorge Alberto has a beard. Alex has a beard. Beard. Okay. I, I like to see yeah. birds. I love birds. Birds, but, especially yes. parrots. Birds. And I don't Bird. like beer. I don't like beer. Okay? I don't like beer. 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 One, one more time. Bear. Uh, bear. 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 Okay. Bear. 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 Oh. Easy, right? It's just for words. Okay. We're done. Let's move on. Let me see. Tonight we have to work on something else. And first, let's open this topic. We have half an hour. We're going to learn how to provide suggestions, suggestions, suggestions. Suggestions. Uh -huh. We're going to learn how to provide suggestions about the promotional activities of a product or service. How can you define this? Promotional activities of a product or service. How do you call that? Is it accounting? Is this production? What is it? Hmm. What's the department in charge of the promotion of products or services? Marketing. Excellent, Robert. Thank you. Marketing or marketing. Yes. Promotional activities of a product or service. What is a promotional activity, guys? Think about a product. Regla número uno de intermedio, señores, al menos conmigo. Desde ahorita ustedes tienen que pensar desde dos POBs, como dicen los bichos ahora. Dos POBs. What's the meaning of POB, Maritza? Sorry, I don't know. Oh, oh my God. Point of view. Good. Point of view, dicen los TikToks. Eso quiere decir, teacher. Yeah, I know. I know, POB. Yo ni veo Facebook y eso sale en Facebook. <laughs> no, en TikTok. Point of view, también en, en Insta. Insta. Okay, so point of view. Let's see. 
tienen que tener dos puntos de vista de, de intermedio uno. El punto de vista del empleador y el punto de vista del empleado. Ojo con eso que les estoy diciendo. Es decir, si yo les hago una pregunta de esta de Let's Start, van a empezar a notar. Bueno, quienes han estado desde el básico uno notaron que se empezó a tratar a, a los estudiantes como empleados. Porque empezaron a ver temas como de PPE, Personal Protective Equipment, ¿se acuerdan? Equipo de protección personal, reglas en el trabajo, las cosas que no puedes hacer, las cosas que sí puedes hacer, si ¿sí se acuerdan. ¿Ok? Y dentro de eso, la gramática, ¿no? Cómo saludar en el trabajo, todo eso. Um, el punto es que en intermedio ya empiezas a avanzar hacia otra rama de la empresa. En básico 6, si no me equivoco, vimos un poco de contabilidad. Veremos más en intermedio 6. Y así te vas moviendo. La intención de intermedio 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 y 6 es llevarte desde la perspectiva de la empresa en general a la perspectiva del empleado conociendo el producto y su movimiento dentro de la empresa por el inventario, la promoción, la mar el marketing. Luego verás cómo se crea un producto desde cero, cómo se publicita, cómo se hace el, el mercadeo y todo lo demás. Y la intención es llegar al intermedio 6 teniendo un poco de conocimiento sobre management, sobre gerencia, cómo gerenciar personal, cómo supervisar personal, cómo fijar metas. Y por último y avanzado, tú harás las clases. ¿Cómo así? Porque en avanzado se darán cuenta, creo que se les entrega el libro, pero ya no hay nada de eso, ya no hay conversaciones entre dos personas, sino que es un desarrollo más intelectual, vas a ver videos, vas a leer muchísimo en avanzado sobre temas más fumados en buen salvadoreño. Así, o sea, temas eh, de marketing, pero más conceptual, más constructivo que tú tenés que desarrollar con tus compañeros. Crear campañas de marketing y todo lo demás. Es bien interesante, pero hay que tener esa perspectiva siempre. Siempre tú pensás, bueno, si soy el dueño, ¿cómo me afecta esto? Si soy el empleado, ¿cómo me afecta esto? Más adelante le pondrás nombre a esa empresa y cada vez que hay un ejercicio así, tú siempre tomas eso en cuenta, aunque yo ya no esté contigo. Pero tómalo en cuenta, ¿ok? Got it? Got it. Ok, so Got let's it. continue. What is a promotional activity? The advertisement. The advertisement. How? Jorge Alberto, yes. Lorelli. 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 Okay. Uh, I got it. Thank you. Okay, Alex, sorry. Lorelli? Yes, Lorelli. Uh... When you do promotion product, you say uh, one number in a lottery. Oh, that's a promotion. Mm. Hmm. Again, think about the product or service of your company. So how do they promote? How do they do the marketing so what is a promotional activity have you gone to super selectos and you walk through the aisles and suddenly they go like alex please try this right try this with, sausage uh -huh. with samples with samples yes they do samples that's a promotional activity got it alex give me another one alex Discount. Discounts. Good job. Discount. Discounts. What else? Discounts. Mm -hmm. Fred is another promotional activity at the supermarket. Two plus, two plus uh, one. Two by one. Two by one. Okay. Two by one. Yeah. You buy two and yeah. you get one extra. What do they do? when a product is about to expire. 
For example, you have coffee and you have milk and the milk is about to expire. So what can you do? Uh, the second box is the medium cost. Is it all oh, good? It's, it's a half price. Good job. Is that half price? Or they bundle. Repeat, they bundle. They bundle. They bundle. A bundle, a bundle is what Tigo and Claro do. They sell you the internet, high speed internet, but get the bundle. Get the bundle. You get cable TV and you get a landline. You know what is a landline, right? So, algunos de ustedes ni la conocen. Landline. Right? It's like, get the bundle. The landline, the TV, and the internet. Three things for $50. All yours. Claro. claro. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so those are promotional activities. How do you create successful promotional activities for your restaurant products? Now that you thought about your products, about options for your restaurant, your options for the menus, how do you create successful promotional activities for your restaurant products? What will you do? Shall we go with... Um, maybe with, with strawberries? Again, again, with service? Uh, uh, encuestas? I don't... Survey, I think. Yeah, encuestas. Good job. We saw that word yesterday in a different way. Polls, remember? But yes, I prefer, I prefer survey. 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 Okay, polls or surveys. That's right. That's an option. Let's look at the reading. Okay, let's look at the reading and then we go up next. This is on your book, page 15. I'll, I'll try, guys. I'm sorry. Let me try to do what I usually do. Um, so one time, one, two, three. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We worked in an action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. How about, how about promotional activities at the restaurant, you know, you could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. Then customers will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up, I repeat, and you hook them up with the spicy pizza, with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. I didn't, didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a good idea. Good idea, good idea, good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event, like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket, who bought a, who bought a ticket for the event, the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Ooh. Okay, your turn. I need some of you to read this. Don't forget to say me and your name.
Mi. Alex. Mi ok, mi Oscar. Y mi ¿Sí? Alex. ¿Por who? I didn't see your face. Do it again. Okay, okay, I have Oscar and Alex first, and I heard a woman. Mi majo, but I don't know. Okay, mi majo later with who? Mi Roxana. Excellent. Majo and Roxana go after Oscar and Alex. Oscar, Alex, one, two, three, action. Okay. Luigi, Luigi is gone. Okay, Luigi. let's go with let's go with Alex. Go. Okay, uh, Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We work it in a action plan, but we need to save cost and get customer to try the new product. Oscar? Sorry, I don't see the I don't see the letters. I I have problems. Okay. Okay. I, now. <laughs> Wait. Let me do this smaller because oh, I did it with this, which is not the right way. Okay. Whenever you're ready. And I I'm not okay. Hold on. There. How about? How about mm -hmm. how about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know you could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. Then customers will get the green pepper sticks and you hook, hook them up with the spicy pizza. Mm -hmm. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a bus baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Okay, let's leave it there. I want to, well, if you can read the last part, Alex. Yes, yes. Oh my. Oh my. I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but okay. he- He isn't uh, telling everyone the pizza is spicy, right? It's a spicy pizza. Okay. Let's leave it like that because I, I don't want to lose the uh, the feedback on the screen. Thank you, guys. Let's see. Where were we? Uh, we worked. Oh, okay. Alex, worked. Worked. Excellent. Worked. Uh -huh. Worked. Yeah. What else did you say? Uh, this is not easy. Costs. Worked. Costs. Cost. Cost. It's in, it's in plural. Uh, cost. Costs. Uh huh. Costs. Costs. Excellent. And get customers to try the new product. Okay. Uh, Oscar. Promotional. 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 Good job. Pepper Promotional. sticks. Pepper sticks. Pepper sticks. Pepper sticks. Good job. Pepper now, cuando ves una, un idioma como este, eh, lo que tienes que hacer es, bueno, este de hecho eh, es un phrasal verb, hook up, hook up, ok, um, hook up, hook, hook up. Up. Sí. up, entonces cuando ves un, um, una frase o un phrasal verb como este, lo que tienes que hacer es leerlo rápido, lo más pronto posible, es decir, up. you hook them up, and 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 you hook them up, hook them up. Oscar? You hook them up. Better. Hook them up. 
you hook them up with a spicy pizza. I didn't think, es una Z, le decía, I didn't think of that. Think. Think, think of that. One more time, Alex. Think. I didn't think of that. I didn't think on that. Ah, I didn't think of that. Think on that. Okay. Se me lengua la traba en una palabra con su conector. Entonces digo, think of, think of, think of, think of, think of. Think of, think of, think of. I didn't think of that. ¿Ves? Si funciona, si funciona. I didn't think of that. Think of, think of that. I didn't think of that. Better, you got it. Next, sounds. Sounds. Sounds like a sounds. good idea. Sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a good idea. Man, that sounds like a good idea. Man, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> good, good idea, good idea. Good idea, good idea. You got it. Good job. Good idea. Intonation, Oscar. Event. Event. Uh huh. Discount. Discount. Excellent. Good job. feedback, okay? Super good, guys. Thank you. Let's go with the girls, Majo and Roxana, right? Hold on. Yes. This is too big. Uh, can you see? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We worked in an action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you couldn't discount the green pepper sticks that never sell them. Customers will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotion. Activity close to a big event like a concert of a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought, bought up a ticket from the event. Oh my, I will come you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Good job. Wow. Okay, really quick. Tonight we are learning about the use of could and the use of might. Okay, could, might. So we will see the pronunciation. Could. 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 Okay, it's just C, I'm sorry, C U V, a big D. Could. 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 Suele ocurrirnos por los latinos que somos, y esto lo tengo comprobadísimo, que la D la leemos como T por hacerla sonar. Pero la de se, pro, se produce solo haciendo como vibrar la punta de la lengua atrás de los dientes. Could, 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 could. Okay? Sorry. And uh, then we have might. Aquí sí suena la T. La T. Might. Next, intonation. Discount. Discount. Sorry, my kid's cell phone is shrinking. My bad, I'm sorry. Discount. Discount. Mm -hmm. Then we have bought a ticket. Who bought a ticket? Who bought a ticket? Who bought a ticket? Who bought a ticket for the event? Who bought a ticket for the event? Good job, Roxana. Good job. No. Now, this pronunciation, Maho. But, 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 but with O. Uh huh. But. Teacher, but like but, but like but, yes. But. That's the way it sounds. But, but, okay. Luego sigo con lo cumplir lo de tener la T entre los vocales. 
but I wanted to tell you, listen to this, but I wanted to tell you, hey, but I wanted to tell you something. Okay, muy americano, but I wanted to tell you something. Muy latino, but I wanted to tell you something. Hmm. Más bien gramatical. But I wanted to tell you something. Okay. Se diferente, ¿no? So, let's do that. La tenta de vocales en aire. Okay. <clears throat> let's look at the conversation and complete the sentences. You what? Where's the second part? Could offer. You could offer a discount. Very good. Okay, you could offer a discount. Oh, what? Okay, let's continue. You could offer a discount. You what? You might. You might want to have a promotional activity. Good job. Okay. And the last one. Hmm. Where's the other one? Offer a discount to the people. Come on, guys, wake up. Vamos, cool. chicos. You, cool. could. you could. You could. You could. You could. Offer. That's right. You could offer you a discount. Could okay. Offer. So, what is this? What is that that we just just was we just used? Is a model, okay? Um, diga yo el que nunca ha estudiado un modal. Modal verbs. Vemos modales. No. Okay. So, vamos a ocupar could para usar para hacer sugerencias. Eh, quiero enfatizar que le voy a enseñar lo que hace en el libro ahorita. Okay. Hay diferentes usos para todos los modales. Y pues, eh, vamos a ver ahora solamente dos usos particulares de cada, un uso particular de cada modal, que es could y might. Eh, empecemos con could, on the left hand side. By the way, esto está en su página 16 de su, de su libro. So, we use could to make suggestions. Okay. Ambos en estos ejemplos lo vamos a ocupar como muy formalmente para hacer sugerencias o solicitarle a alguien algo. Look at the examples. You could talk to your manager about bundling. Bundling. Lo que les decía. Bundle, bundling. Sujeto. El modal. Eh, no sé si se ve lo que estoy subrayando. Hello. Sí. Ok, good. Ah, Tengo okay. sujeto. Sí, cool. Modal. Ojo con esto. El verbo en su forma base. Regla general de los modales. Debe de ser precedido por un verbo en su forma base. Ahí no va un tú entre el could. Número dos. Es decir, no tiene que ir en ing, en ed, en tercera persona. Aquí todo eso se, se pierde ya con los, el uso de modales. El sujeto, modal, verbo. ¿Y qué es lo que sigue entonces? Empieza con C. Complement. Complement. Very good. To, to your manager about bundling products for the promotional event. Todo eso es el complemento. Teacher, pero así se hace el presente simple. Exacto. Solo que aquí, igual, tenés un auxiliar. Regla general de los modales. Los modales no aceptan otro auxiliar como el didn't o el don't o el doesn't. ¿Ya? O el verbo to be. Es decir, si vas a negar vas a agregarle el not al could, al should. Okay. 
luego les enseño los demás modales, pero de momento con could, si quiero hacer negativa esta oración, diría you couldn't, n apóstrofe t, you couldn't talk to your manager about bundling products for the promotional event. You couldn't generate business in a community event. Are we clear? Estamos claros. Sí, fácil, ¿verdad? Yes, Ahora una pregunta entonces. Si todo tiene lógica y los modales son mi auxiliar, no hay otro, a ese le agrego el not, ¿cómo hago una pregunta entonces? ¿Cómo hago esa pregunta? You could generate business in a community event. El modal pasa... Could you... Could Excelente. You. Could you generate business in a community event? Question mark. Good job. Muy bien. Super fácil. Ok. Lo mismo va a ocurrir con might. What's the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Aquí tenemos. Make suggestions. Y con might. With want or like to add politeness. Es, recordemos que estamos viendo un tema de restaurantes. Entonces, si tú trabajas como mesero, esto te va a servir mucho. Para ser polite. ¿Ok? Para ser cortés a la hora de dirigirnos a los clientes. ¿Ok? Y lo puedes utilizar con want or like. So, let's look at the examples. You might want. Seguimos con la misma idea. Sujeto. Modal. Verbo en su forma base. You might want to have a big promotional event with a celebrity. You might like to schedule a promotional event along a holiday like Black Friday. Bien. Questions? ¿Alguna pregunta, duda, inquietud, sugerencia? Sí, dijo que no le gustaba la cerveza. <risa> Mi hermano trabaja en la constancia, creo. Ajá. Sí, la otra es la coca, pues sí, la constancia. Ok. And he gave me a promotional glasses. You see? This is a Pilsner cup from the World Cup, I think. Yeah. This is from the World Cup, the last World Cup. Okay, so no questions. Are you sure? Sure. Okay, let's see. So let's do the exercise number five together. One by one. I'm going to start with Freddy's. Uh, do number two, Freddy's. The boss. Uh, the boss cool want to start the event with a speech with a speech with us with a speech with a speech good job the boss could want to start the event with a speech what do you think guys ¿Qué dice el público? Todavía está vivo, ¿verdad? No, Francisco. Mike. I think it's Mike. It's Mike. It's Mike. 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 Siguiendo, siguiendo el cuadro, following the little chart on the top, aquí decía, might es usualmente utilizado con want o like para yeah. agregar, uh -huh, para agregar más yeah. cortes, cortesía. How do you say cortesía en inglés? <laughs> Ojo, cortesía, Politeness. cortesía Politeness. no de promoción, sino de, de, de actitud, ¿ok? Polite. <laughs> ¿Y cómo decís cortesía de... de de que, algo que es gratis, que tú lo estás dando gratis al cliente. Free. <ríe> no. Cortesía. Oh, esta es una cortesía. Jorge se te corta. Is a gift? It's a gift. It's a gift. Cor it's a courtesy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cortesy, cortesía, o sea, gratis. Más fácil, más restaurantesco. It's on the house. It's on the house. Okay, good. So this will be my, what would be number three? The sales team. Good. Good. Mm. Good? Good. Cool. Hmm. Cool. You sure? 
Yes, yes. Don't doubt. Lounge. Okay, number four, the manager. Might. 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 The, might the manager like. might like, might like, might like. Repeat, might like. Might like. Mm -hmm. The event. Cool. The event. Cool. Yeah. Good? Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool be shovel. Could be. Uh oh. Shelby. Yes. Ten pasado. Okay. Base form. Que. Yo. La forma más sin el ed. Que. 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 Yo. Yo. Que. Yo. Schedule. 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 Schedule.
Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm staying with Brandon. Good night, Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar. Here, teacher. Thank Good you. night. Good night. Oh, my God. Okay, Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. Present. Good night. Okay, goodbye. Ana Victoria Galán Cantón. Present. Okay, good night. Brandon Alexis Velázquez Ayala. Present, teacher. Present, banana. Very good. Denise Alejandra Zúñiga Aldana. Present. Day. Present day. Okay. Freddy Ricardo Landa Verde. Present teacher. Present flower. Okay. Jorge Alberto Laines Diaz. Present. Present jump. Present jazz. Okay. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present. Jump okay. <laughs> That's better. Luis Eduardo Reyes. Present. Thank you. Good night. Maria Jose Escobar Portillo. Present Miracle. Hey, you got it. Thank you. Maritza Celina Aguilar Ramos. Present in Museum. Good job. Nice pronunciation. Miguel Santos Marroquín Maravilla. Present teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. Present Milk. Milk, good job. Good night. Na good night. Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. Present teacher and um, night. Good night. night. That's a good one. Oscar Eduardo Meléndez Martínez. Present opportunity. Beautiful word. Good night. Roberto Ernesto Morales Colindres. Present rain. Rain, good job. Night. Good night. Roxana Geraldina Wandy Curtis. Present rules. Rose. Rose. Excellent. My mother's name. Good night, guys. <laughs> See Good you. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Denise. Okay, okay, okay. Brandon. Hi, teacher. Just... Okay, bien, en esta sesión es la primera vez que estamos juntos como profesor y alumnos. Este, he estado haciendo tres preguntas si han visto algún video anterior en la sesión. La primera pregunta es, ¿cuál ha sido tu experiencia con el inglés? Es decir, ¿de dónde vienes? Sin mencionar nombres de academias. Eh, en base a esto, a la experiencia que llevas, ¿has identificado cuál es tu área de oportunidad principal? ¿Qué es lo que necesitas atacar? ¿Es hablar? ¿La gramática? ¿Entenderlo? ¿Qué es lo que más te cuesta? Y la última pregunta, la tercera pregunta, ¿qué estás haciendo aparte de recibir estas dos horas clases? para mejorar tu inglés. Okay. Lo que más me cuesta siento que es cómo memorizar más, más vocabulario. Hmm. Because, um, ¿Por qué? Mm, no sé. He intentado como aprender como, digamos cierta cantidad de, de verbos o phrasal verbs al día, siento que me hmm. cuesta. ¿Y cómo y... lo haces? ¿Estás escribiendo cinco veces el mismo verbo o qué? Fíjese que no he intentado así como escribirlo tal cual, solo así como aprenderlo porque uh -huh. por el tiempo, pero sí este, voy a intentar así como, me dieron como un tip, como uh, escribir como ciertas oraciones con los verbos, eh, pero sí no, no ha empezado a hacer eso. De hecho, sí, es lo mejor que puedes hacer porque tu cerebro solo entiende instrucciones, no órdenes. Decirle al verbo que se, al cerebro que se memorice un verbo es una orden. Ponerle el contexto de qué es ese verbo 
ya es una instrucción y la va a acatar. Va a decir, hey, pero entonces play, play, para empezar se pronuncia play, ok. Y va con fútbol, me encanta el fútbol, play, fútbol, I play fútbol. Y ahí va, ¿no? Y le va, le va a gustar eso. Ahora, yo les estoy recomendando seguir la dieta esa que les puse ahí en el WhatsApp y ocupar un lapicero de colores, ¿ya? ¿Por Bien. qué? ¿Por qué? Porque tu cerebro le encantan los colores, o sea, de verdad. Y esto funciona en base a los colores, de hecho. Eh, si tú haces repeticiones diarias de llevar el positivo negativo pregunta, volver a empezar con otro verbo, otra palabra, unirlos y decir positivo negativo pregunta, y vas ocupando los colores para lo que más te cuesta, que como tú dices es el verbo y el complemento, el, el verbo y la palabra. Inconscientemente, digamos que Pareto te funciona al revés, te memorizaste sin quererlo, dos verbos y dos palabras. Entonces funciona, te digo, está, está comprobadísimo. Eh, si quieres más vocabulario, ¿qué más? ¿Qué otra que... haces? Dale. Uh -huh. um, eh, eh, también en el listening escucho podcast. Cuando voy manejando con los audífonos escucho, escucho podcast. Siento pod, que casi pod, no me... pod... Podcast. Ahí podcast. Está. Ajá. Siento que casi no me, no me cuesta el listening. Ok. Ayer, no, no, no se los envié, se lo envié solamente a Ana Victoria. Este, te, te. Se lo envié a la compañera que se quedó ayer. Le envié un link. Ah, sí, aquí está. Le voy a enviar el grupo mejor. Fíjate que en el 2017 encontramos una página en la que aparecen audios, contexto, conversaciones. Entonces, te invito a que veas ese, ese es un index, un índice de audios, 250 audios. No discrimines, solo ten cuidado de cuál es el que has seleccionado, porque ese es un índice, luego te manda un subíndice y ahí puedes seleccionar un audio. Te va a salir todo el script, todo lo que dice cada personaje, son dos personajes siempre, A y B. ¿Qué haces? Escribís o imprimís eso, y en lo que vas viajando, que eso es lo mismo que me decía tu compañera ayer, yo viajo casi una hora, me dice, dos, tres horas a veces, hasta Zulután, me dice, me toca andar para arriba y para abajo, ocupemos esa oportunidad, o sea, escuchar música, escuchar algo en inglés, qué mejor que escuchar una conversación y tratar de entenderla, pero lo más fácil es esto, ya la imprimiste, entonces, día uno y día dos, escucho, con la boca cerrada, yo lo voy siguiendo eso es muy importante cuando tengas chance, ir viendo lo que dice ahí escrito y solo escuchar no tratar de entender sino que solo escuchar y leer lo que dice por dos días unas tres veces que lo hagas leer tu cerebro tiene que entender que ya no se dice play ya no se dice jump esas letras ya las aprendió desde kinder ¿no? Entonces, le tenés que enseñar que se dice jump, play, y de tanto verlo va a decir, vaya, está bueno, pues. Va a decir. Así funciona ese error. Dos días. Tercer, cuarto día, ya empiezo a articular lo que estoy leyendo. Quinto día, empiezo a repetir más en voz alta, que yo mismo me escuche y al final de ese quinto día empezar a grabarme en el teléfono. En el sexto día, ya cuando siento la confianza y digo, y me quedo bien, quiero ver, lo grabo, lo escucho, sí. lo más importante de todo este ejercicio es que tú escuches los dos audios al unísono y llegues a autocorregirte, todo este proceso es una semana, le das play a las dos cosas y lo primero que va a pasar, ¿sabes qué es? Vas a decir, esa no es mi voz, <ríe> porque ya te he dicho eso, cuando escuchas tu voz grabada te queda, así le sonas a la gente, cuando tú hablas, ¿No te ha pasado eso? ¿Ya sabía? Sí. Mataba el chiste. Tengo tenido, tengo tenido que es por la resonancia que rebota la voz, por eso escuchamos. Te rebota los, la voz en los tambores de los oídos. Tienen raro uh -huh. eso. Bueno, entonces, ya lo escuché. Ahora voy corrigiendo o premiándome. La gratificación instantánea. Date un dulce. Uy, súper bien. 
anda, comprate un tres leches cuando termines esa lectura y la hayas hecho súper bien en, en la grabación, las dos al unísono, me salió súper bien, un premio. Ok, uh, no te dije traducir en ningún momento, eso es lo último, español ya lo conoces, pero sí, si lo quieres traducir al final, hazte el reto, agarra oración por oración y empezar a analizarla, sujeto, verbo, complemento, ¿qué es esto? Eso no lo he visto, me voy a YouTube. Ah, a Google, a Google eh, tal cosa. Ok, sigo. Good. Y yes, eso tiene muchísimo, muchísimo valor, créemelo. Estás haciendo, atacando todas las áreas. Todas las áreas por medio de esas lecturas, ok. Y pues claro, si me necesitas, envíame por WhatsApp. Eh, eh, estoy disponible a cualquier hora del día para que evacuar cualquier pregunta que tengas, ok. Good night, Brandon. Good night, Jack.